family, friends, and guests, welcome to the 304th commencement exercises of Bowling Green State University. Let the ceremony begin. I'm just going to head back to the center stage now. Yeah, she started out in like space, I guess. Our commencement tradition is to begin and end each ceremony with Sounds of the Centennial, an original musical composition written by BGSU alumnus Ryan Nowlin, assistant director of the president's own United States Marine Band. This piece was commissioned to celebrate the centennial of Bowling Green State University. Please rise and join us in honoring our summer graduates, led by the deans of the academic colleges in order of their founding at the university.
keeping with the significance of this momentous occasion, we ask today's attendees to observe several courtesies. To our audience and guests, please do not enter the commencement area or obstruct the movement of today's participants. A professional photographer will be taking pictures of our graduates. In honor of our graduates, please silence your cell phones. In addition, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and new alumni recess. Once the graduates leave the seating area at the conclusion of our commencement exercise, you may join them at a reception tent near the northeast corner of the Bowen Thompson Quadrant by Mosley Hall. Upon leaving, you are invited to explore campus with your graduate. Parking is free. To our graduates, please follow the directions of the commencement marshals and ushers. Following the ceremony, you are invited to visit bgsu.edu forward slash commencement for a website that highlights today's commencement and your time at BGSU. Thank you. Please join us in welcoming representatives of the faculty of Bowling Green State University. <laughs> Welcome the President's Platform Party, Board of Trustees Chair and Alumna Marilyn Isley, Academic Deans and our Faculty Senate Representative, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Student Affairs Dr. Joe Whitehead, and the 12th President of Bowling Green State University and Alumnus Dr. Rodney Rogers.
please remain standing for the national anthem under the leadership of vocalist Annabelle Pollard, an alum of the College of Musical Arts. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets broke forth the bombs bursting in came forth through the night that our flag was still there Good morning. I'm Dr. Alexis Ostrowski, Associate Professor in the College of Arts and Sciences, and I have the honor of serving as the University Marshal for today's ceremony. I want to thank Ms. Pollard for her performance of our national anthem. Please be seated. It is my pleasure on behalf of the faculty to officially welcome you to the 304th commencement exercise of Bowling Green State University. This occasion offers an opportunity to come together as a community of learners to both celebrate and reflect upon our graduates' many accomplishments. For each graduate and for all of us, this is a significant day. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 12th president of Bowling Green State University, Dr. Rodney Rogers. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Ostrowski. Good morning, summer 2022 graduates, parents, family, spouses, partners, friends, and special guests. Welcome to Bowling Green State University. You know, today we are here to celebrate a very momentous occasion in the lives of 933 graduates. And it's certainly my privilege to begin today's address by recognizing those who provide the leadership of Bowling Green State University. So please first allow me to introduce the platform party. As I announce the names, uh, I would ask them to stand and, and remain standing, but I would ask you to hold your applause until the end. Board of Trustees Chair and Alumna, Marilyn Isley. Joe Whitehead, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. Alan Rogel, Faculty Senate Representative and Chair. I would now like to introduce the deans of our academic colleges, some of whom have led their participating colleges into the ceremony. Jennifer Waldron, <clears throat> Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate College. Don Chenu, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Ellen Schindel, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Jennifer Percival, Dean of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidhorst College of Business. Jim Cisla, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Bill Mathis, Dean of the College of Musical Arts. Jody Fall, Chair and representing the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Andy Kurtz, Dean of the Firelands College. Linda Leandowski, Dean of the University of Toledo College of Nursing. Simon Morgan Russell, Dean of the Honors College. 
Sarah Beauchamp, Dean of University Libraries and Vice Provost of Faculty Affairs. Please join me in a round of applause. <clears throat> Thank you. You know, great universities are comprised of great faculty. They are absolutely at the heart of our academic mission. Their teaching skills, research, creative activities, academic expertise, and involvement in our students' education are the hallmark of a BGSU experience. And so I would ask our faculty and staff members that are here today, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. You know, we all certainly recognize that the past uh, nearly two years plus have been quite the journey. Uh, this global pandemic has certainly taught us a great deal. However, seeing our graduates in front of us today, we are reminded of the progress, of the purpose, of why we kept at it, never giving up, always finding that way forward. And despite all those significant challenges, we have found a way forward, not just as individuals, but as a community and as a university. And I just wanna start off with a simple message to our summer 22 graduates, faculty and staff members, you did it. Against the odds. Against the odds, you found a way forward. Together, we should be so proud of what you have accomplished to move forward. I'm not sure exactly where it's located, but it's, well, I do know where it's located, but uh, it's not on our campus, it's just in case you were wondering. Uh, so, um, you know, as we begin our ceremony today, I, I want to share some uh, additional statistics and facts about our summer 22 graduates. So first, I am pleased to report to you that our graduates and their classmates spent a great deal of time studying and doing research at the library. Now, I've been told that you have downloaded 2,862,731 research articles, and there were 144,238 visits to the Learning Commons. You know, we tried to calculate the number of Zoom or Microsoft Teams meetings. I mean, we really did, okay? But uh, there were too many, so I don't have a number for that. But 
According to our chief information officer, you consumed 325,987 thousands of terabytes of data on our Wi-Fi. I wonder how much of that was Netflix or Hulu or <laughs> Disney Plus or something. But now, studying takes a lot of fuel. We know that. And BGSU Dining tells me our graduates ate a lot. Over the last four years, our students consumed 285,643 pizzas. And I might add that more than 2.3 million hours were spent in the rec center. Huh, maybe there's some relationship there. I don't know. Um, so, you know, we're celebrating the accomplishments of a great group of graduates this weekend. And as a public university for the public good, you have created public good by being a student at Bowling Green. And you're recognizing the importance of paying it forward. You know, those students involved in student life and in our signature co-curricular activities averaged 94,701 community service hours per year. And in this past year alone, our students raised more than a half a million dollars to support nonprofit organizations. That is very impressive, the work that you have accomplished while you're a student here at Bowling Green. And you know, this value of the Bowling Green degree you're about to receive has never been higher. We continue to be ranked as a tier one US News and World Report University. And according to the Wall Street Journal, for the third year in a row, for the third year in a row, our students overwhelmingly said that they would choose their university, this university, our university, once again, ranking us as the number one public university in the uh, Midwest and tied for the number one in the United States. Pretty impressive. And that university that we're tied with, on number one, we open our football program against them uh, in uh, August, UCLA. So come out to California and join us, all right? So at Bowling Green, we know that our students, you all have world-class opportunities here, and we hope you are empowered to create public good. And you know, that's more than just words. It is our promise. This graduating class embodies that promise. And as I mentioned, in total, there are 933 degrees we are celebrating this weekend. 18% of our graduates are students of color. 65% are women. There are 44 international students representing 17 countries. We have a 19-year-old receiving an undergraduate degree, and we have a 60-year-old receiving a bachelor's degree, a 26-year-old receiving a doctoral degree, and a 65-year-old receiving a master's degree. Pretty impressive. So as you can see, our graduates include both the young and the young at heart. You are diverse. You come from small towns, suburbs, and large cities. You are from different parts of Ohio, all over the United States, and all over the world. Some of you have completed your degree, perhaps completely online. And I know that this may be the first time you are physically on this campus, and you're meeting some colleagues and classmates in person for the first time. However, each of you have one thing in common. You all have found a university where you can belong. You found your place at Bowling Green, in the classroom or in the laboratories, in the residence halls, in clubs, in student organizations, in Greek life, or perhaps on the athletic field. You made Bowling Green your community and your home. And graduate students, you have absolutely found your place in the Bowling Green community as well. You worked with faculty and mentors. You conducted original research. You created and taught and perhaps guided our undergraduate students. You have contributed greatly to the success of our undergraduate students. So in recognition of your many accomplishments, I'm going to now ask a number of our students to stand and to be recognized. First, uh, many of you have grown through experiential learning, 
and co-curricular involvement. So if you uh, happen to study abroad, participated in a learning community, completed an internship or co-op, got involved in service learning, conducted research, taken part in an opportunity that has provided you with leadership experience, such as student organizations, honoraries, advisory boards, athletics, residence education, student government, teaching or research assistantships, any of those activities, would you please stand if you're able and be recognized? That is the power of a learning community. Thank you for, being, for standing. And then finally, I would like to recognize the heroic service of our United States veterans, active and ROTC members of the armed forces who are graduating today. Would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. Earning your degree today places you in a very, very select group of people. Less than 7% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree or higher. You have absolutely earned it. But with your degree comes immense responsibility. You see, not only have you invested in your education, not only has your family and friends perhaps invested in your education, but by attending a public university, the citizens, residents, and taxpayers of the state of Ohio and the nation have invested in you. We are counting on you. Now, none of us have gotten to where we are without the support of others. And for our graduates, I'm sure there are a lot of people that have helped you during your time here at Bowling Green. And so in the spirit of the 1987 commencement speaker, Mr. Fred Rogers. Some of you might not know Mr. Rogers, but Fred Rogers uh, was our commencement speaker in 1987, no relation to me unfortunately. But as Mr. Rogers, when he was here addressing our students, he asked, and so just like he did, I'm going to ask you to take 10 seconds of your time right now, simple 10 seconds of your time right now, and I want you to think about all the people that have helped get you to this point, who supported you, who were in your corner. 10 seconds. I'll watch the time. So I could imagine the people you thought about that made a difference in your life, um, perhaps some of them are here with you today. And so it is my pleasure to honor them. And so, if able, would the parents, spouses, partners, children, grandparents, family members, friends, or anyone else who's helped one of these graduates, if you are here today, if able, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. So in closing, and before I invite our provost and senior vice president for academic and student affairs, Dr. Joe Whitehead, to the podium, I'd like to speak directly to our graduates. And so if you will allow me to share uh, some parting words of, of advice. So soon, you will be graduates of Bowling Green. And we want you to go out and reinforce, support, and create public good. Of course, that starts with me. It starts with each of us. So please allow me to ask three things of you. First, 
I hope you always remain curious. Always remain curious. As Reinhold Newberg wrote in the 1930s, you know, sometimes we humans, you know, we vilify the people we disagree with, and sometimes we have an exaggerated confidence of our own virtue. You know, it's really important to always remain curious. Ask questions before you judge others. Ask questions. Make sure you collaborate, support, and learn from diverse peers. You know, in short, never ever stop learning. Curiosity, learning, it's so important, curiosity. And so second, I ask you to remain bold and to take action. You know, don't be afraid to tackle messy challenges. The world needs more problem solvers and doers. So remember, as someone once said, it's not the sound of the flock, but the movement that causes the flock to take flight. Talk is cheap. Be bold, take action. Be curious, be bold. And finally, I ask you, as you have been here at Bowling Green, I ask you to be kind. The world needs more kindness. Curiosity, be bold, be kind. If you do these things, you will absolutely do well, but you will also do good. Congratulations, graduates of Bowling Green State University. Thank you, President Rogers. Good morning, everyone. As provost and chief academic officer of Bowling Green State University, I have the honor to recommend our graduates for their degrees. However, before I do that, I recognize our, for our graduates in attendance, this is a moment of reflection. Think of your journey since your admission into BGSU to the last final exam or project. As a student, you've experienced and witnessed so much during your time here. Whether you have been here for four years, two years, or studied completely online, we thought it would be fitting to share some highlights with you. Congratulations, graduates. As, As you begin, begin your next, next chapter, chapter, let's take, take a, a look back at your time at BGSU. Since we welcomed you to BGSU, you and the university have soared. We renewed our commitment to traditions. Finished building on a new one. Said goodbye to old ones. And you found a place where you will always belong. We welcomed new friends and displayed our pride with a new campus landmark. You danced, biked, and shaved for charity. More than a dozen new Falcons joined the family and new business ideas were hatched. There were MAC championships, Big seasons, and that's a ball game. big wins, a return to national prominence, and national championships. We eclipsed our peers in national rankings. We had some long winters, but we had fun. We served to remember Dr. King's legacy and honored our veterans. Honored Bob and Ellen Thompson, BGSU's most generous philanthropists. Celebrated a gift that will transform our future. 
announced new gifts to support student success at BGSU and raised a record amount of support for our next chapter. We created new innovative partnerships, programs, and facilities to help meet workforce needs. And our research served the public good, working to address the critical issues facing the world. Most importantly, we are sending our BGSU graduates soaring to serve the world and lead meaningful and productive lives. Congratulations. It is now my honor to recommend our graduates for their degrees. I call upon Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate College, Dr. Jennifer Waldrum, to present the doctoral and master's candidates. President Rogers and the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Graduate College, and the academic degree granting colleges, I am pleased and honored to present the doctoral and master's candidates and recommend them for degrees. Each doctoral candidate will be escorted by a faculty, mentor, or advisor, and will be invested with a hood, which is the symbolic of the highest of academic degrees. Abdurrahim Ahmad al Ghafi, hooded by Dr. Patrick Pockin. <laughs> Joseph Wenda Juka, hooded by Dr. Wee Ning. Amira L. Allen, hooded by Dr. I. Fen Ling. <laughs> Rachana Maharjan, hooded by Dr. John Chen. Allison Hart, hooded by Dr. Annette Mahoney. Jordan David Dockery, hooded by Dr. Michael Zicker. Wan Jen Shu, hooded by Dr. Michael Zikar. <laughs> J. 
Jennifer Lynn Traxler, hooded by Dr. Stephen Cady. Gary Allen Gray, hooded by Dr. Stephen Cady. David Lynn Harkins, hooded by Dr. Deborah O'Neill. Kelly Irene O'Brien, hooded by Dr. Swathi Ravinchandran. Daisy Ochizi, hooded by Dr. Michelle Brodke. <laughs> Heather Lynn Potany, hooded by Dr. Michelle Brodke. Heather's diploma is being presented to her by her father, Jeffrey Smith, accounting and NMIS professor in the Schmidt Horse College of Business. <laughs> Mohammed Ala Udin, hooded by Dr. Serenis Malkodi. Timothy D. Snyder, hooded by Dr. Lee Nicholson. <laughs> Madi Tahamton, hooded by Dr. Ronald Shearer. Zoe Kriegel, hooded by Dr. Jason Whitfield. <laughs> Amal H.K. Aburama, hooded by Dr. John Sprague. Zingwi Wu, hooded, hooded by Dr. Louisa Ha. Sharia Mabo, hooded by Dr. Joseph Fergal. Kalani Dunishka Edwinsingi, 
put it by Dr. Alexis Otrowski. Karina Bakara Haddad, hooded by Dr. Alexis, Alexis Ostrowski. <laughs> Sarah Ruth Mellick, hooded by Dr. Scott Highhouse. Melissa Ashley Albert, herded, hooded by Dr. Scott Highhouse. <laughs> Thomas Andrew Tuberson, hooded by Dr. Kit Chan. Danielle Witt, hooded by Dr. Alex Izzo. Kamud Joshi, hooded by Dr. Paul Morris. Nabil Carnib, hooded by Dr. Paul Morris. <laughs> Stephanie Nicole Sherrick, hooded by Dr. Kimberly Coates. Michael Vincent Reinhardt. Robert Leon Royer III. Justin Bradley Chapman. Matthew Joseph Sibylla. Cassidy James Howard. Jordan Ryan Fox. Anna Catherine Lutz. Keisha D. Allen. Cassandra Ann Clark. Adria Ann Sanchez. Kamala Napunin. Rathika Chudhari. Shujin Gu. Brianna Nicole Skibi. Elena Rose Ritt. Faith Longnecker. Madison Nicole Altieri. Brianna Avon Holden. April Emily Heideloff. Lucille A. Courtney. Jeremiah Alice. Thomas. Richard Galvin. Kara Joy Godsey. Larry Austin Hadamushin. 
Fiona Catherine Harrigan. Cole Henry Highhouse. Cole's diploma is being presented to him by his father and stepmother, Scott Highhouse and Margaret Brooks, Brooks both BGSU faculty members. Connor Scott Spencer. Michael D. Noth. Tehitna Barahanu Hade. Chad Eugene Kozen. Gabrielle D. Paxton. M.D. Camrul Islam. Emmanuel Kabana. Nana Yao Osea. Bailey Shea Valerusis. Avinash Daniel. Stephen German. Patrick E. Teets. Paige Alexis Matillo. Cody Allen Munger. Amira Shanta Venkataraman. Haley E. Benson. Shelby Kate Beamer. Richard C. Solomon. Nathan Michael Podak. Lucas Benjamin Womack. Jody Lynn Schneider. Anu Tapalia. Lahari Chatla. Kathleen Elaine Shug. Dominic James Sully. Jacqueline Nicole Penrose Carpenter. Christopher Clayton Carroll. Michael John Pangelo. Grant Ryan Feed. Garrett Chandler. Samuel Morgan Boyd. Ryan Michael Jeffers. Allison Taylor Mishka. Fuyo Mung. Samantha Ray Minor. Jalen A. Kenner. Sydney Copper. Andrea Patricia, Patricia Robeson. Daniel Allard Brown. Benjamin David Torrance. Jackson Walker. Alexander Bruce Comstock. Caitlin L. Miklos. Jessica Elizabeth Lovell. Kylie Lousy. Kiara Nicole Hurley. Alexandra Genevieve Elder. 
Philip Dana Yeager III. David Leon. Megan Marie Pleiker. Rachel Anna D'Amato. Jessica Marie Marie Foster. Veronica Crystal Ortiz Rivera. Nadia Fernandez. Ishmael J. Castro Sosa. Gabriela Marie Jorge Torres. John Lawrence Carroll. Gerald Ronald Tucker. Isabella Suzanne Gillardi. Patrick D. Harvey. Natalie M. Ziancom. Logan James Seagard. Noah Ray Racy. Believa Christine Parker. Dustin Eugene Wegger. Elena Page Carlson. Patricia Godinez Rosa. Mark D. Olawanik. Miguel Angel Otero. Peter Andrande. Ziggy Chen. Anthony Kai Chewy. Brendan Maluli Zitsum. Adolfalake Alachi Edawusi. Usang Magusi. Stephen, Stephen Ahon Ahi Ahi Giamumun. Francesca Nina Leo. Deja Camille Peterson. Caitlin Faith Arts. Sarah Nicole Ann Thomas. Jessica Louise Bragg. Alexandra Marie Falter. Varun Grama Chetham. Curtsy Shaw. Megan Elizabeth Alberts. Maya Lynn Burns. Ashley M. Hahn. Michael Wesley Johnston. Gerald Scott Mayer. Raksha Katiwada. Sarah Renee Varner. Abigail Christine Spiritosu. Anjanal Ann Kashup. Brandon Bell. Brandon's diploma is being presented to him by his father, Craig, photography director for the Office of Marketing and Brand Strategy. (laughs) 
Samuel James Craigs. William Neil McLean. James Hoyt Nestor. Meredith Mickey. Caitlin Marie Kirkpatrick. Denzel J. Bell. Jacob Patrick Eberly. Zachary Joseph Matthews. Sarah Elizabeth Wayman. Patrick Michael McCooley. Marcos Daniel Valencia. Jennifer L. Von Weil. Alyssa Rose Marie Eller. Benjamin R. Butui. Karen Louise Games. Jason Andrew Vi. Catherine Elizabeth Ashman. Patrick James Ashman. Andrea Brock. Kayla Patricia Dalton. Winton M. Moore. Daryl L. Torbert. Noah Joseph Furhoff. Danielle F. Wildman. Kendall M. Addis. Trisha Lynn Hannes. Christopher Orlin Kopp. Gabriella Nicole Taglamonti. Ashley Nicole Franks. Christine Lynn Kindle. Rachel K. Kraft. Byron Eugene Osborne. Keisha LaShawn Summers. Rachel E. Lesko. Madison Page Nenadol. Mandolin Simphy DeBane Grutton. Michelle Nicole Thomas. Jessica Brianna Stevens. Gretchen Lynn Fritch. Alexis Nicole Ottstadt. Julia Elizabeth Wilmer. Jordan Lee Marino. Chelsea N. Christian. Taylor Renee Gibbons. Bethany Pam Zambori Sanford. Kristen Marie Sunderman. Kelly Ann Kennebec. Jenna Marie Grimes. Patrick Joseph Hall. Diana Jane Connor Marks. Shelby Nicole Seibert. Emma Joy Northam. Brittany Michelle Rayburn. 
Rachel Alexis Baldwin. Morgan Llewellyn Duncan. Cassidy Aaron Heiser. Jamie Ray Melkert. Paul Thomas Ferguson. Teresita Thomas. Jane Audrey Harper. Emily Lane Davis. Christine G. Painter. Abigail Kathleen Martin. Nicholas Andrew Drown. Alexandria Elizabeth Morris. Chad Richard Cecil. Christy L. Howell. Kaylee Ann Gill. Melanie Sears. Natalie Faye Twarek. Jordan Nicole Schwiebert. Lauren Noel Wolf. Megan Elizabeth McDonald. Hannah Catherine Rowe. Brooklyn Nicole Kuhn Palmer. Alicia Van Scooter. Jordan Kimberly Capel. Jillian Warner. Spencer Stephen Frederick. Eliana Rosa Navarro Bueno. Ashley Lynn Osbeck. Allison Nicole Huss. Kyle John Galinas. Amanda C. Kanicki. Deja Janae Lyman. Leslie K. Liberatsky. Irusiawe Godwin Okaduwa. Taylor Ashley Snisky. Isabel Penna. Kendra Renee Watson. Ashley Simone Mabry. Amanda Renee Sangetti. Michaela Fleming. Abby E. Ramirez. James Matthew Briggs. Nicholas Allen Hinton. Jared W. Sutton. Hope A. Young. Brianne Nicole Lauer. Kyrie Lonell Brown. Megan Lynn Deeskin. Rachel Holliday. Cameron Don Bench. Aaron J. Warwick. Isabella Rose Griffin. Maggie Marie Bittner. Eric Randall Cooper. Thomas Robert Dubert. 
Christopher Allen Johns II. Carl Ng. Sin Lu I. Abdurrahman Al Nunu. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the recognition of the doctoral and master's degree candidates. Before I call upon the, our deans to present our undergraduate candidates, I'd like to recognize those students who excelled in the academic endeavors and are graduating with academic distinction and honors. This is indeed a great achievement for these graduates and their families. Bowling Green State University congratulates you for your commitment and for your success. And so I recognize the following students. There are 124 students receiving degrees with Latin honors this commencement at Bowling Green. To graduate cum laude, a student must have a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5. Would those graduating with distinction of cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. To graduate magna cum laude, a student must have a grade point average of 3.75. Would those graduating with distinction of magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And finally, to graduate with distinction of summa cum laude requires a 3.9 grade point average. Would those graduating with the distinction of summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. Please, Bowling Green is proud to recognize graduates who complete their entire collegiate academic experience with a perfect 4.0 GPA. A select group of six students have received this honor and are wearing a special medallion and orange graduation cap in recognition of this award. Would those graduating with the distinction of the President's Award please stand and be recognized. Thank you and congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the Honors College, Dr. Simon Morgan Russell, to share a few comments. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. I am pleased to recognize the outstanding achievement of our students who have been honored through Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and who are in the Honors College. Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi are each one of the world's leading academic honor societies. Only about 10% of higher education institutions in the world have Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi chapters, and Bowling Green State University is proud to be one such institution. In addition, we have four students from our honors college who are graduating this weekend. The university honors program was established in 1978, and it was designated as the honors college in 2013. This community of scholars completes designated coursework and an honors project, which includes independent research. These students must maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher in all of their coursework. They are wearing the honors medallion, a symbol of their academic success. Would our Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and university honors candidates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. BGSU was founded in 1910 as a normal school, focusing on teaching and education. More than 112 years later, we have significantly grown to nine academic colleges. To honor where we began, we will present our undergraduate candidates in the order in which our colleges were founded. I now call upon Dean Don Chenu to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Education and Human Development.
good. <laughs> we ready? Uh, there we go. Good morning. My name is Dawn Chenu. I am proud to serve as the Dean of BGSU's founding college. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the College of Education and Human Development and our faculty, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Taylor John Cindy Wilkins. Woo! Sarah Nicole Laboon, summa cum laude. Lauren Nicole Weinshack. Andrew Keith Willis. Julia Lee Hardesey, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Gilbert. Elizabeth Jan Howland. Nicholas Perry Squires. Connor Matthew Smith, magna cum laude. Dylan Thomas McRitchie, summa cum laude. Christopher Milone. <laughs> Jeffrey Allen Manchester. Abigail Stacy Polex. Ryan Wilson. Andrew Joseph Grimm, cum laude. Garrett Michael Vickery, magnum cum laude. Logan Perry Gopsy. Alyssa Nicole Lambert. Javen Ray Holly. Marissa Lynn Maruski, magnum cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Winiski, cum laude. Geneva May Morrison. Emily Elizabeth Hope Thompson. Michael Solomon Britton. Abigail Doherty. Joshua Alexander Mosley. Courtney Renee Berkey. Claire K. Wood. Katie Lynn Potter. Madison Aaron McKay, cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Beard, summa cum laude. Lucinda Jan Safer. Braden Joseph Wetling. Jacob Mark People. Noah Michael Ebling. Jemiah Brittany Gavin. Sarah Jean Day, Sumku Clade. Kayla A. Stallo. Matala Slaslensky. Christy Marie Richter. Alec Thomas Wood, summa cum laude. Shelby Marie Goodman, cum laude. Brianna Marie Koljavsky. Sarah Michelle Carroll. Abigail Rigda, cum laude. 
Chloe, and Buck. Hannah Marie Dector, summa cum laude. I am who I am. I'm a good guy. Deidre Denisha Lewis. Yes, ma'am. I see you, baby. Take your time. Take your time, Deidre. Joshua yeah, Stephen yeah. Bennett. Yeah. Oh, no. Zachary Thomas Carr. Austin Rucard. Scott A. Lard. Brendan T. Folks. Nayu Jean Jordan. Giovanna Victoria Kona Stafford. Diamond Christine Moses. Nicole G. Moots. And this concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Education and Human Development. Good morning, I'm Ellen Schindel, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees. On behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Jordan DeSalle. Cheyenne Nicole Homanak. Emily J. Coffey. Ryan William Freeby. Jenna Lynn Binger, Magnum Cum Laude. Evan Michael Yarnett. Sydney Blaine Shockey. Aaron Michelle Conrad, Cum Laude. Melissa Elaine Bramlage. Jada Ed Zidoti. Caitlin Rose Weber. Juliana Marie Chikarosli. Summa Cum Laude University Honors. Matthew Guy Corfi II. Gregory Jean Bowles, Jr. Allison Jacqueline Hazlett. Ethan Michael Hart, Cum Laude. Courtney Sue Natroop. Caleb Lee Courtney. Claire Abigail Tillman, Cum Laude. Christopher Jaquad Wilson, Magnum Cum Laude. Emma Diane Durfee. Cassidy Ray Hoyt. Lucas Arthur Gibb. Kyle Douglas Rose, Suba Cum Laude. Sarah Nicole Williams, summa cum laude, President's Award recipient. Natalie Renee Bieberson, summa cum laude, President's Award recipient. Danica Sari Maxwell. David Dwayne Wilson. Catherine Marie Fife, magna cum laude. Jake Rockney Petras, Magnum Cum Laude. Quinn Ramsey Toth Ciplo. Lorraine Elizabeth Mada. 
Oliver, Wesley, Mankey, Cum Laude, Cassandra Alt, Diana Sorlels, Macy Ray Diaz Southard, Cum Laude, Emily Christine Gilligan. Katerina Elizabeth Kiefer, summa cum laude. Tara Lynn Bruner. Zoe Germana. Jessica Lee Williams, cum laude. Zachary Edward Burhart. Larson Edward Long. Oh, Ryan Emmerich, magnum cum laude. Tashan Ahmad Redmond. Caitlin Nicole Arbaugh. Rachel Ann Murphy. Joseph Francis. Kettleka, Catherine Ann Fossey, cum laude, University Honors. Bailey Elizabeth Brown. Kiyu Iyana Collins. Jenaba Adams. Kenya Nicole Murray. Kufale Nakim Burle. <laughs> Gerald Barbour Jr. And this concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Arts and Sciences. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Percival, Dean of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidt Horse College of Business. President Rogers, board of members from the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Schmidt Horse College of Business, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Christine Nicole Morales, summa cum laude. Wow, Christina! Olivia Marie Tokash, magnum cum laude. Sierra Nicole Hunt. Brianna Renee Whitehead. Heidi Diane Imhoff. Chloe Elizabeth Patterson. Ryan Keller Brown. Casey James Simpson. Caleb Sean Williams. Obriana Danae Smith. Nicholas Geyer, summa cum laude. Kyle Ray Joseph Dibling. Kyle's diploma is being presented to him by his mother, Julie Dibling, Management Analysis in the Schmidhorst College of Business. <laughs> Maxwell Stephen Irwin. Jared Kolinsky, cum laude. Joseph David Mahan. Kyle J. Miller. Kyle's diploma is being presented to him by his aunt, Marilyn Isley, chair of the BGSU Board of Trustees. Christopher J. Scheiber. Dana Elizabeth Wurst, summa cum laude. Jacob Lewis Nekowitz. 
Hayden Benjamin Hildreth, Cameron Jamil Leftwich, Desiree Marie Thomas, Hannah Marie Bangenhaus, summa cum laude, Tyler James Sheridan, Paige Marie Willis, cum laude. Cole Anthony Sainer, cum laude. Bryce Morgan Skipper. Maya Rebecca Kirkling. Deontay Rayshon Johnson. BGSU homecoming king. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Kelby, magnum cum laude. Justin Anastasio Pagan. Amber Dawn Geese, cum laude. And this concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the Alan W. and Carol M. Schmidhorst College of Business. Good morning. I'm Jim Cisla, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, President Rogers, and members of the Board of Trustees. On behalf of the faculty of the College of Health and Human Services, I'm pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Adri Mikkel Rose, magnum cum laude. Allison Joanna Goldsberry. Bryson Anthony Varwig, cum laude. Mackenzie Alexis Wells, cum laude. Erica Marie Edmondson. Richard F. Jurgen, summa cum laude. Sarah Chindobong, cum laude. Solamia Dumitri Naka, summa cum laude. Elise Joy Johnson, cum laude. Hannah Paige Hartley. Samantha K. Wilson. <laughs> Juliana Marie Ciccarelli, summa cum laude, University Honors. Raven Mackenzie Day, cum laude. Abel Abigail Grace Hart, cum laude. Plema de Seung, Katsubuke. Cassandra Rose McCartney, cum laude. Evelyn Janine Kramer. Alicia Nicole Sloan, magnum cum laude. Santina Scafide. Mackenzie Mack. David Wingling, Nathan Arik Copper, Kiara Elizabeth Buchanan, Lauren Ann Milner, cum laude, Shannon Marie Marsh, cum laude. Lauren Marie Cook, magnum cum laude. Allison Kathleen Sakama. Jenna June Hograff. Cameron Elizabeth Webkin. Carolyn Ann Mitchell. Brooke Leigh Kinsley. 
Elizabeth Ryan Cotterman. Lydia Marie Taylor. Haley Ray Dickinson, cum laude. Aaron Michael Good, magnum cum laude. Joshua Scott Jones. Naya Monette Flowers, cum laude. Stephanie Ann Lane. Emily J. Allen, magnum cum laude. Eva Michaela Weigel, magnum cum laude. Rachel Renee Kelly, cum laude. Clarissa Marie Joslyn. Sunny. Christina Hyde. Rachel Elizabeth Moe. Nicole Haley Catter. Joshua Daniel Lawless. Jonathan David Ralstone, cum laude. Treana Monique Phillips. Lindsay Paige Murphy, cum laude. Nathan Douglas Zaleski. Emma Shelby Wellman, cum laude. Josue Giovanni Ballesteros Flores. Jordan Edward Smith. Macy Janae Skelton. Cami Marie Caldill. <laughs> Hannah Noel Hall, magnum cum laude. Madison Colleen Deemer. Brooklyn K. Heiser, summa cum laude. Kimberly Sue Jerski. Jolene Leslie May Moons. Monica Cox. Cassandra Marie Sellers. Jordan Lay St. Julian Cum Laude. Pamela Joy Losgo. Michaela Leigh-Ann Ricksecker. Caitlin Ann Stumann. Cindy Renee Sunkel. Olivia Marie Parcher, summa cum laude. Michella Ann Smith Kaufman. Maya Virginia Douglas. Bryce Martin Halterman, summa cum laude. James Matthew Weinpert. Alexander Thomas Murray. Catherine Elizabeth Conrad, summa cum laude. Cody Lynn Gamble. Michaela Noel Hoon. Mariah Ann Grow. Tisha K. Irby. Andrew M. Simons. Jeremy Jarvis Bruce. Sia Marie Snowball. Catherine Janace Curry. Margaret Elizabeth Netherland, cum laude. 
Ryan Jacob Hartson, summa cum laude. And this concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Health and Human Services. Good morning. I'm Jody Fall, Chair and Representative for the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. President Rogers and the members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineer, I am pleased and honored to present the candidates and recommend them four degrees. Alicia Marie McGinnis. Morgan Lee Hamrick. Jonathan Peter Ferranta, magnum cum laude. Jenna Marie Montez, magnum cum laude, university honors. Andrew Michael Krasowski. Jason R. L. Woodcock, cum laude. Elizabeth Sue Richmond, summa cum laude, University Honors. Keegan Ray Begraw. Rebecca Marie Zach. Adam Christopher Johnson. Gregory Justin Camrick, summa cum laude. Aaron Joseph Hubbard. Catherine Emma Conley, magna cum laude. Brandon Michael Furston, summa cum laude. Connor Christian Poloco. Jeremy A. Stratter. Mackenzie Paige Krenbrick, cum laude. Terrence Jason Reynolds. Hannah Grace DeLong, cum laude. Alexander Ray Begon. George Benedict Grisham, the fourth. John Jason Clark, Jr. Trevor Thomas Tucker, cum laude. Carly Raquel Scotchless. Yeah. Keegan Lace. Douglas Brian George. Dylan Hensley. Tyler Lee Hampton. Imoni Nashe McCullough. Eric D. McGee, Jr. Hey! Austin Q. Tellus. Jacob Ryan Shantos. Hey! Yeah! Regulio Augusto Strele. Joshua William Harold. Austin Julan Morgan. Brandon K. Brown. Jasmine Denise Riley. And this concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Good morning. I'm Andy Kurtz, Dean of Firelands College. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of Firelands College, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Kaylee Noel, Kilgore, highest distinction. Yvonne Suzette Jones. Allison R. Harris. 
Rebecca Amber Rohrerbacher. Marie Elaine Cooper. Alexis Wall. Kaya Marie Patterson. Joshua David Common. Brittany Nicole Calhoun. John Thomas Casey. Bridget Thomas. Christina Andrea Liskey, <laughs> Kaylee Catherine Bircham. And this concludes the recognition of the associate candidates and bachelor candidates for BGSU Firelands. Thank you, Dean Kurtz. Will all of the degree candidates please rise? Chair Isley, it is my privilege to present these candidates to you on behalf of their faculty, advisors, and deans. I hereby recommend that their degrees be conferred upon them as indicated in the official program. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as chair of the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree as listed in the official program with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Doctoral and master's candidates, congratulations. Baccalaureate and associate degree candidates, this is the appropriate moment for the symbolic change of the tassel from right to left. <laughs> to our newest alumni, let me be the first to welcome you to one of the most valuable perks a supportive network of more than 192,000 alumni around the globe. I hope all of you have had the type of experience that will empower you to tell the story, the BG story, as you begin your next journey. Welcome to the Alumni Association of Bowling Green State University. This fall, Bowling Green State University is celebrating our 100th homecoming. I want to invert, personally invite you to return to BG on September 15th through 18th. And now, for the first time, as alumni of Bowling Green State University, please join members of the men's chorus for the performance of our alma mater. The words may be found on page 26 of your program and on the screen behind me.
Alumni, please be seated. President Rogers will now make final remarks. After the president's closing remarks, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and new alumni recess. So thank you, Chair Isley. And as uh, Chair Isley mentioned, the 100th homecoming this fall, come back, Alumni Gateway, which is right behind you, we're dedicating, you can run through the fountain, okay? So come back in September. So graduates, today is your day. It's the pinnacle of your academic journey here at Bowling Green State University. And as you enter your next journey in your life, I am sure there will be obstacles which you may believe will impede your plans. You know, for thousands of years, humans have certainly faced, we have all faced obstacles. In fact, back in 19, uh, 170 AD, Marcus Aurelius wrote, there is no impeding, there is no impeding our intentions. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. You know, you have taken action. You found a way. You are clearly prepared to do amazing things in the next phase of your journey, perhaps more so than many of our past graduates, because during this pandemic, you've adapted, you've persevered, you've overcome all types of obstacles to earn your degree. You've been tested. You have found a way forward, and you are absolutely ready for whatever is next. And so as we close our 304th commencement ceremony, please remember that Bowling Green will always be one of your homes. And you will be forever welcome to be part of the Falcon family. And so I ask you to stay engaged. Stay engaged with both your classmates but also the university, a university that you have enriched, a university that is far better because you chose to be here. On these occasions, I'm reminded of a quote from Bowling Green's fourth president, Dr. Ralph McDonald, that's inscribed on the stonework of the Bowen, Thompson, Bowen Thompson Student Union. It reads, we are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. We are linked to this institution, all of us, each one of us are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. You see, your success is our success and our success is your success. We are forever linked to this institution. And so, as I look out to each of you, our newest alumni, I absolutely see the next generation of thought leaders, of, of risk takers, of visionaries, and I hope big dreamers. You are graduates of a public university ready to create public good by making a difference in your career, in your family, in your alma mater, in your community, in your nation, and in the world. That is what you do, that is who we are. You are entering the next chapter in your life and this next chapter is yours to write. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish next. It will be nothing less than extraordinary. And as we say at Bowling Green, I Ziggy Zumba. <laughs>
Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let the lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel